Hey there, people. I thought I'd do a, uh, a short video of something that some people might not really be aware of or ever thought about. So, I'll try to do my best while I'm holding my camera. So, I had to drill ooh, that little hole right there for an extractor, which I still have to make the extractor. You can kind of see my scribe lines where the hole is drilled. Uh, so something like this, you you can't put in a mill, and you sure as hell ain't doing it with a hand drill. You, you got to have a precise hole. Uh, so you do it in the lathe, and the way you do that is you've got to offset your workpiece. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. If I turn this dude on, watch this. So you see how crooked and crazy that looks. But if you look at, if I can get it there, see the hole. The holes nice and centered so the way you do that I'm gonna to try to try to set this up here with uh, one hand while I'm holding my camera uh, you get your your barrel and your forge all you can see I've got uh, copper pads there for my jaws so I don't mar up the barrel um, but a little trick and I'll be honest with you I don't remember where the hell I learned it from you take dead center and again I'm trying to do this well give me one second while I try to do this with both hands okay there we go so as you can see I've got a live center I've got my dead center and granted my holes already drilled but before I had the hole drilled I scribed where I needed the hole and I used the center punch so the point of this dead center fell perfectly in my center punched hole uh, but to be able to indicate the barrel uh, it, it's kind of tedious because you've got two things to do you've, you've got to move this thing until you get your your uh, you know center punch mark centered and you do that by indicating off of this but you've also got to make sure that this th this thing's parallel. You know, one surface here and then the other surface here. Or else it'll, it'll whip around crooked. But, see, as you can see here. Of course I'm shaking like crazy trying to do this. So what you do. Is something like this. And I'm just kind of throwing this stuff on here real fast to try to give you an idea so what you would do is and you got that dude there and, and then you've got something to indicate off of let's see what we got about a thousandth but that's what the hole already drilled might be a little burr there or something but so you get that guy there and then before you get your barrel indicated your dead center will move around and then you know how much to adjust your forge all by trial and error and then you can look at your dial indicator and I had this thing probably within half thousandth before I drilled the hole the holes nice and straight and nice and, and concentric like it should be and again before I was able to you got to bounce back and forth before you can get this guy centered you've also got to make sure that this is concentric that surface and this surface is concentric and you do that by you know, putting my dial indicator on here sweeping it back and forth and then tapping the barrel around which will just gently move it in my copper jaws here and then once you got that guy parallel with the the bedways of the lathe and then you can start moving the barrel to get your center point where you need to drill so let's see if i can drop this thing out of here anyhow but yeah so and then again that will 
It's really screwy when you're doing it too. But you can see that guy's spinning center. And of course my phone's not going to want to agree and focus with me. But anyhow, so just thought I'd show that little trick there and... Hopefully I'll be able to come up with some more videos. I've been slammed lately with work. The last thing I'm able to do is actually take videos. Uh, we're closed right now, so I was able to make this one. But thanks for watching, people.